So we've made a ton of rice dishes here on Spain on Fork. Two reasons why. One, rice is very popular here. And for two, I absolutely love rice. However, the recipe we're making today is not the traditional way of cooking rice where you cook it in the stovetop. Instead, we're gonna bake it in the oven, which we've done a couple times here on the show. It gives the rice such an incredible texture. And let me tell you, this recipe is filled with so many flavors, like seriously, a beautiful lift of goodness. It's very easy to make, and it's one of those dishes where it's a complete meal in one pan. Folks, like I always tell you, this is what Spanish cooking is all about. No tricky techniques, no fancy equipment, and a huge punch of flavors. Let's begin by adding in two and a half cups of vegetable broth into a saucepan, which is 590 milliliters. Now the broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the iCard above and description box below. We'll also pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. You'll find a link where you can get the saffron threads I'm using from Golden Saffron in the description box below as well. And we'll heat it with a medium high heat. At the same time, I'm gonna heat a large oven-proof fry pan with a medium heat. If you don't have an oven-proof fry pan, no big deal, just use a regular one. And later on when we add the rice into the oven, just transfer everything into a casserole dish. And I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced, half of a red and yellow bell pepper that I finely chopped, and four cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all evenly coated in the olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this continuously, that way the veggies don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about five to six minutes, and the onions are nice and translucent, and the rest of the vegetables lightly sauteed, you don't want to brown them too much, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 2.30 grams. And we'll quickly mix it together. That way that paprika is evenly coating all the vegetables. And like I always tell you, when you're adding paprika into a hot pan, you wanna mix it in there quickly. Otherwise, it easily gets a bitter flavor. Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 115 grams. For those of you that follow me, you know that the tomato sauce that I use, I make by finely grating tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce or even passata for this recipe. And we'll give this a quick mix and simmer it for a couple minutes. After about three minutes and that tomato sauce has really thickened up, it's time to add in the rice. I'm gonna be using Spanish round rice for this recipe, which is very similar to either medium grain rice or even arborio rice, which is the one that's used to make risotto. I'm gonna measure out one cup, which is 220 grams, and add the rice into the pan. I'm also gonna add in one cup of cooked chickpeas, which is 170 grams. Now the chickpeas that I'm using come from a jar, which is the same thing as the canned ones. Very important to add them into a sieve and rinse them under some cold running water. That way when you add them into the pan, they can absorb all the beautiful flavors. And we'll also add in one third cup of black pitted olives that have been thinly sliced. This is about 70 grams. Then we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. and we'll gently mix this together until everything's well mixed. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna grab the hot saffron infused vegetable broth that we have heating and slowly add it into the pan. Then we'll turn off the heat in the pan and we'll give this one final mix, that way everything's evenly distributed. And like I told you earlier, if you don't have an oven proof pan, at this point, transfer all this mixture into a casserole dish and give it a mix, and you can use that to bake your rice. Before we add the rice into the oven, I'm gonna grab a head of garlic and cut off just a little bit from the tip, that way when those cloves of garlic are fully cooked, you can easily remove them from the skin. And I'm gonna place the head of garlic in the center of the pan. And we'll add our pan into a preheated oven, bake only option, that's just the bottom heat, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 20 to 22 minutes, that rice should be perfectly baked with all that broth being fully absorbed by the rice. I'm gonna remove the pan from the oven and we'll garnish it with a couple lemon wedges 
and some finely chopped parsley. Our oven baked Spanish garlic rice with peppers and olives is done. Very easy to make, beautiful presentation, and it's got an incredible bounty of ingredients in there. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Look how beautiful this turned out. Here we go. Yeah, it is so good. First things first is the rice. It's beautifully baked. It kept its shape, but it smells in your mouth. And then the combination of all those ingredients with the spices, it's an explosion of so much goodness with those black olives really standing out for a beautiful flavor. You saw it's very easy to make, done in about 40 minutes, serve it next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate Spanish experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Hollis Helmichi, Sam Cohen, Kent Anderson, Michael Cole, and Luli Garcia Diaz. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support the show so I can continue releasing videos just like this one, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.